Today on In Focus, first, let me go ahead and clear the air. And I want to speak about a couple of words just on the new upcoming offerings from Panasonic and Olympus, which Olympus, I guess, is going to be announced tomorrow. Um, I'm watching it, but I'm not watching it critically because for me, especially given the cameras I'm shooting with now, you know, having the RED and also this Canon EOS R3 that I'm recording this with, I don't feel a strong desire. I'm not sure that for someone like me who's shooting with these other full frame cameras and, and Super 35s that go into a micro four thirds right now would be the, the best choice for me. So it's on my radar, but it's not hugely on my radar. Now, with the Panasonic, because you probably know, I used to own a number of GH cameras. Uh, I owned the GH5, I later got the four of the GH5Ss, which were great cameras. I really did like them. Um, watching the GH6 and I'm gonna be curious maybe there's some things this is the thing about those two cameras maybe there's something that hasn't yet leaked that is the killer feature that would mean that even though it's micro four thirds as opposed to super 35 or a full frame sensor that you would still want to go out and get it because it just has and I don't know what that is so I'm gonna keep an eye on them but as it stands I'm not really crazy about the idea of it because honestly, I, I don't really think I need it, which is good. Now, the other thing, the elephant in the room and what I've really started to had the inspiration to film this video about was the Nikon Z9. Now the Nikon Z9, I think it, it and at the same, around about the same time, two cameras were announced, not both from Nikon, but one from Nikon and one from DJI. And the reason why this is a big deal is because both of these cameras promise something we have never seen in a camera before. And namely, that was compressed RAW, and more specifically, that was ProRes RAW. And previous to the announcement from these two manufacturers, the idea was that we couldn't have these things because RED held the patent on internal compressed RAW for anything, I believe it's over three, three times compression. So it couldn't happen. The only company outside of RED that offers true RAW internal, as you all know, is Canon. So, and I know that there's Blackmagic B-RAW, but that's that's not fully, that's like a debayed kind of RAW. It's not, it's not as we would classify for, strictly speaking, a true RAW, which is how they circumvent the red pattern. Um, everyone else who has tried and met red on the battlefield of fighting that pattern and saying, hey, you can't have the, the pattern on all internal compressed RAW, has lost, including Apple. They've all gone up against them and they've all lost. So I was perplexed as to how it could be that DJI in their Ronin 4D were gonna manage this and also what Magic Nikon worked out with RED to allow them to have internal compressed RAW inside the Nikon Z9. And at the same time, there was a little voice in my head saying it's not gonna happen. Well, that voice is speaking louder today, and the reason why is because it recently came out that DJI has done two things. One, they've dropped all mention of internal ProRes, internal RAW recording inside their DJI Ronin 4D. It's gone. And the other thing they did to try and stave off some of the stampede of people that no doubt are canceling their orders at this point because there's no internal RAW, is they dropped the price by $400. The lack of that is certainly a detractor and I can see why someone would want to cancel their order. But now this brings to mind that if DJI is now retracting their statement that they're gonna have this internal RAW, then what about Nikon? Could it be that they were somewhat exuberant and rushed out there, they said, oh, we know how to do it, not realizing that the problem was never that you don't know how to do it, but legally you're not allowed to do it. So could it be that they rushed ahead and went, went out and advertised that they were gonna have this and they were just waiting to stitch up a few of the details and now it turns out that maybe they won't be able to have this because they're legally not allowed to. Now, some of you may be saying, how is it that Canon can do this? Well, Canon clearly has a relationship with RED. 
The new RED cameras all have Canon RF mounts. They're compatible with Canon RF glass. And the new RED cameras also have Phasertech autofocus. So there may be some sort of relationship that is not necessarily publicly known, but you can see the fruits of that relationship in that, for example, when you buy a Komodo, you also get a Canon RF to EF adapter. It's included in the box. So there's clearly some sort of relationship, a working relationship, a business symbiosis between Canon and RED. And I think part of that is that Canon is allowed to do the internal RAW, true RAW internal, whereas no one else outside of RED is allowed to do that. Here's the real question. If you're one of the people that have pre-ordered the Nikon Z9 or the DJI Ronin 4D, what are your plans now in light of the fact that they may not have RAW? Are you still going to go ahead with it? Or is that going to be enough of a detractor to say, hey, maybe I need to cancel this order? This is just my, my speculation based upon the news that came out today and based upon the fact that this has been the reason in the past why we don't have internal RAW, compressed RAW, in every mirrorless camera in virtually everything. This is what holds it back. This is why when you buy a Sony Venice and you just plunk down your eighty, ninety thousand dollars $90,000, you still don't have internal RAW. Let me know what your thoughts on this are. Do you think that RAW is actually gonna end up in the Z9? We know now that it probably is not gonna end up in the, in the DJI Ronin 4D. So do you think it will actually make it in the Z9 or do you think we're gonna see a similar attraction by Nikon as what DJI did? And with that, I'll catch you next time. Like, subscribe, and do comment below. You know I read them.